Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The SEC is the dominant conference in college football. Not like you really need proof, but if you do, you can't go to an SEC game and swing a stick without hitting about 15 pro scouts somewhere around to check out these amazing athletes that you see on both sides of the ball. A great matchup in the Southeastern Conference coming up. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Texas a and is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. The coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense because he's releasing a safety to stop the run. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 24-yard line. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. it to the back he's taken down right around the 26 yard line the screen is good for four he executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback they pick up some yards they look like they've got the block on and this offensive line's got to give him some time larson takes it at the 32 tackle made at the 40 so the Aggies right now, Kirk, I think they've just got to play within themselves. Sometimes you get at home and you get a little bit too fired up at the beginning of a game. I agree with you. I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game and they've been waiting all week and they're so excited. Sometimes you force a play. Let's let the play naturally come to you and react to it. So we'll see if this team playing at home jumps the gun a little bit or if they just let the game come to them. Stevens gets seven yards on the play. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Roger, Roger. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike. He's on the run. Tackle at the 41. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. They come out in a five-wide set. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's taken down at the 33-yard line. Texas A&M's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. It's second and two. Ball on the 33. Three down, three down. Watch two, watch two. 
Watch two. Here we go. Check, check. Check on. Here he goes. Nice run there as they work the outside. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's got it with room to run. Brought down around the 20-yard line. From the 20-yard line, second down. And he's tackled at the 21-yard line. Really good play here in run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. They'll spread the field with five wide. Zach, green 95. Green 95. Check, check. Back off. Big play, and it's first and goal. Here's the true test of a quarterback at any level. Can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that, yes, he can. First and goal from the four. They're knocking on the door. Touchdown, a and the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Tigers came into the game ranked sixth. After that performance, they're going to fall like Wiley Coyote off a cliff. And for Pittsburgh, they've now won three in a row. The Panthers walked out with a seven-point win. Elsewhere, the Tigers were ranked number two. After that performance, how far will they fall? In the pregame, David and I thought this was impossible. But look what's happened. A major upset is now complete. Wake Forest takes the W by a deuce. Well, that's an absolutely shocking upset. You can count on that one to turn the poles upside down when they're released. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Texas A&M's defense looks like it's ready to feed off this crowd all game long. It's like having an extra player out there. It sure is, Brad. They are off to a great start in that opening series. Let's see how they play here. Again, trying to just set the tone here early in this game on this next series. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And they make the stop at the 39. That's good for me. First down. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. Let's go, deep. And down he goes at the 42. Ole Miss has got a guy behind center that can really do it all, Herbie. I mean, he's a dual threat. He can hurt you with his feet and his arm. With this guy, it's PYP. Pick your poison. like this and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. From their own 40-yard line, it's third down. Catches it and that's all. Parker picks up about four yards with the catch. Anderson is waiting for the snap. Yeah. 
And he muffed it. So the Aggies are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Right? Well, you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Right there. On the ground with a tailback. Tackle made at the 27. Jones picks up a yard on the play. From the 27-yard line, it's second down. He's hit and got away. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Robinson picks up about seven yards on the option keeper. the 14 yard line first down fires quick tipped that was a nice nice play to close on the ball like that you can't teach that kind of reaction it's just natural ability Around the 11 yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Nice job there to bring up a fourth down. Pretty good throw here by the quarterback, but he couldn't quite get it in there. That was a nice job by the defense. Kicks away, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense comes back out, and as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. And he's level at the 34-yard line. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. That's a loss of one yard. That'll bring up third and two. Texas A&M is up four. Here we go. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. Texas A&M leads it 7-3. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. From the 46-yard line, first down. Here we go. Fly in. Fly in. He may 
takes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. McNamara gains around three yards on the option play. That'll make it 77. They'll line up with five wide receivers. They'll bring him down at the 29. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's hit immediately. This is the eighth play of this drive. Texas A&M is up by four. Here's the give. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. From the 19-yard line, first down. He's taken down around the 16-yard line. That'll make it 77. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Takes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. Third down again. Nice run there. The defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive. Right now, they're doing enough to be in situations they want to be in, but. They have to finish the job, and the plays start to add up, so we'll have to see if this defense starts to look tired out there. Hobbs gets about a yard on the play. Second down and goal. Ball on the seven-yard line. He hits him hard at the six-yard line. He intended to see on the play. That makes it 30 goal. And here's the 14th play of the drive. Texas A&M holds a four-point lead. And he's going to be sacked. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, let's take a look at some scores from around the country. The Wildcats have a lethal pass-catch combination for a touchdown. Henry's a devastating weapon in the passing game. He is right on target today with three touchdown passes. 10-3 game here. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he's taken down right around the 22-yard line. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, you're probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. Man left, man left. 
from their own 22-yard line. It's second down. Tackle right around the 20. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. Short over the middle. Brought down at the 16-yard line. Score that round for the defense. These guys are flying around right now. Larson waiting the return. He gets hit out of bounds, right around the 40. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Texas A&M is up by a touchdown. Quick throw. And he got it! He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. design play to the wide receiver and it got him six. You said it Brad in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. That receiver was so wide open as a quarterback you just don't want to blow. That's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you and you go up and you miss a layup. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback so the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off excellent kick he's to the 20 tackle made at the 20 Barrett's got the first of what should be many tackles to come he's a heck of a player really explosive and quick a sure tackler as you can see on that one so you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around Tries to get around the corner. And they push him out right around the 26-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Carroll takes the toss left. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. to the receiver incomplete so that'll make it fourth down yeah they just couldn't connect on a the pass there that was a very good stand by this defense Anderson to punt he's at midfield and he just got drilled flag down and I'm not sure when it was thrown let's find out Receiving team. team. So they'll move back after Still that costly down. penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. They gained five yards there. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. From 
their own 38-yard line. It's third down. Quick throw, and he's tackled at the 43. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. Pressure coming. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 43-yard line, second down. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 38-yard line. That is a loss of five on the play. That makes it third and 15. after a decent pickup. Normally, you look for the pass in those kinds of situations, but a very alert play stopped that run short of the sticks. Barrett will be the return man. He really got a hold of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. Almost intercepted there. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. He scrambled, and they got him. What a play by the freshman linebacker. There's really nothing he could have done against a rush like that. Texas a and is going to use their first time out of the half here. They line up in the jumbo set. He has all day, but scrambles out. Got the corner. He's tackled at the 17-yard line. Not much on that try, and they'll face a fourth and long. No one on the defensive side of the ball was fooled that time, Brad. Larson takes it at the 45. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. So the Aggies over the years have had great quarterbacks. They've got another one. He's proving to be that here in the first half, and he's the true leader of this group right now. Leadership. You, you hit the nail right on the head. This team is, is moving the football, but it has everything to do with this young man and what he's been able to do for them because, it's again, he's making great throws. Uh, he's, he's making good checks at the line of scrimmage. But the thing that's standing out to me is his leadership and the way this team responds to that leadership. And that's why this team right now has played as well as they have. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 43. Five wide. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he's immediately tackled. Wide set. And he's level at the 38 yard line. Texas AM's called their final timeout. So the sack makes this a second and long. He heaves it to the end zone. Almost picked off. We've played a half of football. Texas A&M leads it 
We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Neither ground game got much going in the first half, averaging a little less than three yards per rush. David, as you look at this, uh, look, you always hear the term, get the offense behind the chain. Oh, yeah. You get them in long yardage situations. What does that do for a defense? Well, it's, it's so much fun. You start with the defensive line, you know it's a pass. You get to fl fly up field as fast as you want to. It's not third and three where you're sitting in a situation where they could run or they could pass, and there's a little bit of doubt in your mind when you're coming. You fly up field, you rush the passer. Everybody knows that the sticks are a little bit further back, so DBs can back up a little bit and play to the sticks as opposed to playing third and short situations. It makes it easier on a whole defense. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He really got a hold of that kick. <laughs> He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Nice run to the left there. Second and five, ball on their own 26. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. Makes the grab past the marker, and he is drilled at the 36-yard line. Side. He's pushed out of bounds at the 39 yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 39 yard line. Second down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's taken down around the 43 yard line. Jones makes the tackle at the 43 yard line. That makes it third and three. Gets rid of it quickly. And down he goes at the 19. First down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Throws incomplete, broken up. They come out on an empty backfield. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Game of six yards. That'll bring up third and four. Here's the eighth play of the series. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. Kicks up, and he's got it. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, let's check in on the SEC where speed reigns. And for Kentucky, they've lost two in a row. And for Henry, 
he gets off with big numbers. Five touchdown passes on the day. Real recognize real, and real recognize this kid. Reese, 20 to 3, our game here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 23. Texas A&M's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 24. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Jones picks up about four yards on the play. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. They're set to go for another round. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. That's a game of 10 on the ground. That'll bring up third and inches. Roger, Roger. Ready! Nice run, and he's brought down. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He tackles him for a loss. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. another third down offense lines up in a five wide set in a defense anticipating pass here throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete Harris maintains a receiver on the play that'll make it fourth and six they'll spread the field here let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook Quick out to his receiver, and he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings 
up second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 22-yard line. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Brad, not only a huge interception to get the football back and maybe have a chance to get back into this game, but this could really change momentum. You can see the players and how they're responding down there on the sideline about how excited they are to get the football back and have a chance to put points on the board. From their own 29-yard line, first down. He's met immediately. situation. Ball on the 23-yard line. Strike to his receiver. No good. Anderson to punt. Excellent punt. Larson takes it at the 33. Whoa, he just took a lick it. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Down at the 45. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gets it. He's in space. He gets hit out of bounds at the 29. yard line first down and they push him out around the 26 yard line is about three feet away from that first down marker. They'll spread the field with five wide. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. So with one quarter remaining, the Aggies lead 20 to 3. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. <laughs> What a play, and that is first and goal. That makes it first 
First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. Around the one yard line. Branch gains about a yard with a short completion. That brings up second and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Touchdown, Aggies. Makes the PAT. Jolly ready to kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So the Aggies have a defense that's a sight to behold, Kirk. Well, they just play with a chip on their shoulder. They are all over the field. The defensive line knows their job. The linebackers, the safeties, the corners. Everybody plays as one, and they've been fun to watch today. They are ready to begin another drive. He fires this one. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Around the 49 yard line. Holding on the tackle at the 49 yard line. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 49 yard line. Tackle made at the 36. First down. He's scrambling. Sheds that one. Robinson picks up a yard on the scramble. Good stop there by the freshman. You got to be careful with this offensive attack because one missed tackle could mean trouble. From the 35 yard line, second down. He's tackled at the 32. As a man, he'll lose big yards. A four-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Throws a bullet. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. The Rebels are looking for some new players to step up this season, Herbie. And, you know, every team needs a new star to be born year in and year out because you lose a fifth of your roster to graduation every year. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Second 
Second down and five. Ball on the 41 yard line. And he's stopped behind the line. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up third and six. is out to the tailback on the screen and he shoved out of bounds around the 42 yard line that makes it fourth and four doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. There's a strike complete. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. This is smart, efficient play calling. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. He's on the run. He's at midfield. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. From the 48-yard line. Second down. He heaves it deep. It's intercepted. He sheds it. <laughs> He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 23. They'll drop him for a loss. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. Here we go. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Less than three minutes in the game. Let's go. Wide 80. Wide. He's knocked out of bounds at the 30-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Barrett, back to return it.
Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Wants to throw outside. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 47. A little over a minute in the game. They bring him down. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Ole Miss is going to take their first time out of the half. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Nearly intercepted. It's always big when you can get in the way of a pass on third down because you know the offense is bringing it. So a fourth down stop there late in the fourth quarter, and that should do it. The defense shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. Hobbs picks up two yards with a carry. Well, those are the kind of hits that will take some miles off a ball carrier. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. Nice run there. Around five yards on the delayed handoff. NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.